I probably built this kit maybe 12 times so far for different commission work or just to add some vehicle to one of my diorama and that's why I think it's the perfect kit for beginners. Um, you're gonna touch base with uh, some small photo etch part. You're also gonna learn how to assemble tank tracks and also there's a really nice bonus that this kit came uh, with three, three different figures. So if you want to do, uh, I would say, a small diorama or something like that, that's the kit you're looking for. So without further ado, let's build this one. So today we're going to build, and I will say it just once, the Kitten Craft Trad uh, from Tamiya yeah, on the 135th scale. Um, like I said in my introduction, is uh, I would say one of the best kit if you're a beginner or even if you're, uh, like I said, uh, you're doing uh, modeling for, uh, for years because it's a really small kit, not a lot of part. Uh, but like I said, you can focus on uh, maybe uh, do some add-ons to your diorama or you want to do some uh, some small vignette with it. Uh, the good thing about this kit uh, is it uh, it come with uh, with three different figures. And the figures are beautifully uh, sculpted uh, like uh, the new Tamiya kit. This one I would say is uh, is a what's a reprint of, uh, of an old kit. So it's, uh, it's kind of a new version of an old version. I'm not sure it's the right way of saying it, but uh, you know what I mean. And um, like I said in, in the introduction also, uh, you're gonna touch base with uh, a little bit of photo wedge. That's the two pieces of photo wedge uh, you will have with this kit. And um, honestly, uh, this, uh, this kind of a uh, piece of plastic that come with the kit, it's only to uh, to make sure that you will uh, bend it correctly, uh, to make sure that uh, it will fit in uh, in the place you're supposed to uh, to glue it. I'm using uh, the uh, Flexi um, um, 5K uh, black tin. Uh, black. The only reason why I'm using black when I am uh, gluing photo wedge is uh, to make sure that I see uh, where I put the glue and uh don't don't uh, like i said uh the glue uh, will uh, will will show um through the photo wedge part i decide to build this kit uh for the reason that uh, i'm building a diorama uh that will be located in uh, berlin 1945. so uh, that's why we don't glue uh, the door uh, after we um, we put the photo wedge part because uh, we with this kit you have to build a full motor so a full engine uh, that you will build and the thing is you will have to get the space to put your engine uh, uh, into it so I post uh, many different things on the uh, on Instagram if you want to follow me it's uh, the same thing scale Wonderland uh, I post some uh, some video or making of or different things like that and I also put some uh, some picture of uh, the work I'm doing uh, at the moment so the thing with the engine it's pretty cool because you like I said you have the choice to um, basically paint it and add wires or different things like that but since uh, the the engine will be uh, will be eyed, uh, I'm not gonna bother uh, painting it in the next video. I'm using the uh, the debonder um, from Bob Smith just to uh, remove, uh, like uh, I told you earlier, the uh, the CA glue, like the black one that you uh, it will show uh, through the photo wedge part. So uh, you're just gonna use the debonder. Um, I would say this kit overall is pretty uh, it's pretty straightforward. 
not a lot of sanding, not a lot of seam line, so it's uh, it's a really nice kit. If you're not really familiar with uh, with the track assembly, um, there's one large part, the 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 longer one in uh, in the kit. You just glue the longest part uh, together, and uh, after that, you have to uh, assemble the individual train tracks. It's not a fun part, but we have to do it. So, yeah, like I said, if you're just a beginner, I would say the track assembly, uh, it's not something you can enjoy it. There, there's a lot of people who enjoy uh, putting tracks together, but for me, that's probably the worst part, but you have to do it. So you can always uh, subscribe to my channel uh, and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon to see uh, the next video or to get the not notification. Um, so again, uh, we, we put the muffler on. Uh, in the next video, um, we will uh, do the painting. So uh, we will do a lot of work uh, later on uh, with, uh, with this one. So this vehicle was uh, designed to uh, to pull heavy loads and carry a soldier to uh, to the deep mud, for example. And also, uh, it was used in the, the North African theater on the Western Front and on the Eastern Front of World War II. So the wheels were uh, pretty uh, pretty easy to uh, to fix together. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not common that you have uh, some problem normally. And a uh, big thing is don't glue your wheels right away. Just put in a, um, a, a toothpick or something for painting. So, so you can paint it uh, later uh, without, uh, without problem. Um, to fix the, uh, the train tracks, you have like the, the top rubber to fix. So just keep the small rubber pads uh, with your with your plastic sprues. This way, it's going to be a lot easier to uh, fix every single piece of uh, of rubber pads. If not, you have to remove every single one of them, and you have to glue it uh, individually, uh, one after another. So it's easier and a lot faster to uh, keep it on the in the, on the sprue. And uh, just uh, snip it with your uh, your tweezer uh, after it's it dry completely. Now it's time for the I would say the round uh, edges of uh, the train tracks. You still have to glue all the small rubber piece one by one. Basically, you have probably I don't know maybe three quarters uh, of the the rubber pad already done. In the next step, uh, we will do some weld seams. So I'm using um, green stuff. Sorry, I have a kind of a brain freeze. So you're it basically it's a two-part epoxy body um, that you just mix it mix together, and you just uh, roll a, a small uh, a small sausage, I would say, and uh, you will be able to do your weld seams uh, this way. I did uh, a full video uh, on weld seams. Uh, I will put the link in the description below and also on the top right corner if you want to uh, look, uh, look through it. Weld seams are a really nice detail that you can add to uh, any of your model. This one is a really small, uh, really small, uh, I would say, model. But if you're working on, uh, for example, uh, a tiger or a uh, a panther or a big tank like that or even uh, for example a Sherman tank or uh, a M18 Hellcat or something like that the weld seams uh, are I would say bigger and you have a lot more weld seams on your vehicle so it's a nice touch to add a lot more details to any of your build um, basically uh, I'm always looking to add something different to any of the model that I built 
uh, the weld seams are a really good and super cheap option and it's gonna give uh, a lot more texture and a lot more realism to uh, to your tank. Talking about the uh, different add-on that I like to do uh, with my uh, with any vehicle that I built, uh, I will use uh, the Milliput Black and yes, with baby powder to uh, avoid uh, sticking to uh, to my surface. I'm using the Milliput Black for the 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 only reason that uh, the black milliput have uh, a really fine texture so uh, i will probably do a video in the future uh, leave me comments in the leave me comments below if you want to uh, to uh, have a video on the difference between uh, different milliput different putty um, so I will do it. So basically I just built a uh, kind of a tarp and I will add uh, some more details, some things that I have uh, uh, around my stash and, and like I said, it's been 25 years since I, I'm doing scale modeling. So I have a lot of different things uh, that uh, just uh, in my box and and things like that. So I'm just gonna add uh, different things to uh, to this tarp. The easiest way to sculpt it is to use uh, tap water. Uh, this way, it's gonna glue to your surface, and also you can you can sculpt it or mold it the way you like. So, this uh, this I would say tarp comes with the kit. So I didn't like that. Just put this tarp uh, alone. So that's why I'm adding a little bit more details, and it's gonna make your model always more interesting. Uh, if you take the time to add some little bit more details basically it's gonna make your model unique and you don't have to follow um, the picture on the top of the box to make it right basically the only thing I, I'm, I make sure that uh, I have right it's gonna be the colors it's gonna be the details the boxes that I put with it it's boxes from the German in World War II. I'm not gonna put like uh, like stowage from from the U.S. Army or the British Army or the Canadian Army. So I'm just basically stick through the German side and for the period that I'm building um, my details. So the last details, it's gonna be uh, the tarp. I can probably do this one too, but uh, I figured out that. Um, this tarp is uh, has a, lo a lot of details already, so uh, it's only a matter of uh, sanding it and glue it uh, on top of your uh, little uh, carriage that you uh, you trail with your uh, your kitten craft rod. I say that uh, I will just say it once, but now it's twice, so it's a bonus for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, it's going to be a three-part series. Uh, the first part uh, will be the build and uh, adding some more details like the one you just saw. The second video will be about painting and weathering this bad boy. And the bonus one, I will do uh, a full video on how to paint uh, the figures. And maybe a bonus one, I will do a video about just painting faces.